Hello, welcome to part 13 of our 1200 scale Yamato battleship build. And uh, for anyone who's watching this video for the first time, as I said, we're up to part 13. You can go back to the playlist and watch this right from part one and um, right from the unboxing, actually. So if you're intending on buying this model or you're in the process of um, considering building this, um, hopefully I can give some tips and um, suggestions along the way as we go through and build this um, monster of a battleship. Okay, so in the last video, we just finished building up the bridge and they uh, come up looking really nice. And now we're moving on to step 61. And 61 is the radar um, array and base above the bridge. So I've had some pretty good feedback about having the instructions up in the corner to refer to. So we'll be putting them back up there. So there's step 61 as we'll be doing it. So, um, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is um, take some parts off in that first section there. Uh, there's a little bit, a couple of bits of photo etch. It's all quite basic looking. Doesn't seem to be anything too complicated there. So we'll, um, we'll start building that. So, um, yeah, let's get on with it, eh? I'll be back shortly with some uh, plastic to put together. Okay, so we've got this start, starting to look quite good. A couple of bits of photo etch on the ends here. Um, now we've got to put on uh, some railing. It looks like ladders. So a couple of ladders to go on there, a couple of supports. And it looks like a walk platform along the bottom there where we've got to place that. So I think this whole piece is going to look quite good when it's done. Um, especially when you see step 62, <laughs> but we're not there yet. So I'll just finish this off and um, yeah, we'll, we'll go and we will be having a look at step 62. But if I have any problems along the way, I'll stop and I'll show you if there's any trouble. Um, there's one there that says bend that last step there with the photo etch of that platform that goes all the way around. So we'll see what, how that's going to go on, but it doesn't look too awkward. Fingers crossed. Okay, we'll be back in a sec. Okay, welcome back. So I just thought I'd mention here, um, the photo edge goes on quite easily, but what is tricky is this platform that goes all the way around. You can see it there. It's the last step on, 50, on 61, the bottom there. So what I've found is that if I use this as my photo edge glue rather than using CA glue, because you've got plenty of time when that's on there to move it around and position it exactly where you want because you want to make sure that it's not only straight but it's exactly where you want it to be because once it does dry then you can bend up the two little support poles that go up to where the mark is on the plastic all right so i've just left them because they're very flimsy so once this is dried I can bend them up to make them attach. But the, the tricky part was to get it lined up. And uh, using this glue, you can maneuver this around quite easily. And I'm just looking now. See? Perfect. All right. So it does take a little bit longer to dry that glue, but it, it works really well. And it'll dry completely clear. So I'm going to put that down, leave that for a while, and uh, yeah. So if you have, uh, oh, that's the MIG ammo glue that I'm using there. You know, I, if you follow me, sorry about reaching over. If you follow me, you you know I use this all throughout my build. It's the Ultra Glue by Ammo MIG. It's for photo etching clear parts. And uh, yeah, you can water it down as much as you need it to be to apply it, and it's great stuff. So... I'll let that go, and now, and then we'll be able to um, turn the page over and put lots more on this. <laughs> yeah, we're going to build up some more parts. All right, I'll be back shortly. Okay, welcome back. So, I'm just, uh, it's actually the next day, so it's definitely dried. I've just bent those two little bits down that 
attach on the side there and I'm just about to uh, just glue them on and then we're on to the next step which is 62 which is what I got that part out for and let me just uh, touch the glue down on this like that and we'll simply touch on there easy and the same on this one that's that so that bit's done for the moment we're just working on the section that goes above this so I can put that one aside safe out of the way so this um, I've left it on the sprue just to work on it and something to hold it with there's quite a bit to go on here I've put that little piece on the top put this on the side there's a few more to go on uh, the instructions up there in the corner I'll show you where I'm at just working across the top there um, just trying to see yeah so the, those three steps across the top and then go down to the, the following three up below that's the way the, that's the work order so um, yeah I'll get these other bits off the J sprue these are they look like boxes actually they are. They're a little like ammunition boxes, but I don't know why they're mounted like that. I guess they fold down to access them. Interesting. Anyway, yeah, lots of J pieces, so I'll get those off and put them on. And uh, there's a ladder and a bit more of a railing to go around, and I'll, I'll come back when I'm doing the railing so we can have a look at that going on. Okay, back in a sec. Hey, back again. Just... Uh, but I'd pause in my construction efforts here and just show you that tricky um, bit of photo etch that goes around the top, that railing. Now, I've got it on. It's gone on really well, no problem. But you just got to be very, very careful, very delicate. Even taking it off the sprue, be careful. Those posts are just barely attached. Um, and once you do get it off, just lay it out flat. Be just be very gentle with it, roll it like I've shown before where I've rolled up straight bits of photo, it just slowly roll it around just to get your general shape and then what I've done is I've gone around very carefully with my CA and just touched one post at a time in, lo in its location on the top of the plastic and then come along with the CA activator and again touch that in there so it sets immediately and work my way all the way around until we're done. So it came up fine and it's on there nice, tight and secure now. All right, so I'll, uh, I will continue on. There is more photo etch to go on this, um, but it looks like it goes on the other piece that I've got over to the side there after this has been put on top. And it's in about three pieces, which makes it easier. So it's not one full length you've got to bend into the strange shapes as you can see in the instructions there all right so i shall continue and be back shortly okay one more thing i will show you i've just taken off these two h pieces you'll see them as h32 and and h5 now they're in box c okay and in box c you've got um, a cardboard uh, cover inside the box protecting this which is all in bubble wrap because there's some very very fragile parts in here so just be careful when you take this out make sure everything's still attached and there's nothing loose and uh, carefully take those off the sprue and uh, you should be fine okay all right i will continue back again soon okay so this is done now i've got all the photo etch on got this piece on here which is a little bit tricky if you just take your time it's okay uh, tiny little piece sits on top and uh, yeah looks pretty good um, this is ready to cut off the sprue where it's still attached and then I can put it down on top of here so uh, yeah so it goes on top of that way doesn't it yeah okay so I will do that and then we'll have a look at that other bit of railing that's got to go around on this section, I think. Okay, back again in a sec. Okay, welcome back. 
So <laughs> I'm having a bit of a struggle getting this piece that's supposed to sit on top of the railing that I've already placed around there. So I've put this was in three pieces. That went on quite easily, no problem. But now this in one piece has to, has to be glued to the top of that all the way around. And it's beaten me. I can't do it. Um, not only is it just really difficult photo gluing photo etch to photo etch, but yeah, it's just way too fiddly. And I'm afraid to even start it because if I start gluing it and work my way around and I have a problem, the only way to separate it will be to rip off the one on the bottom as well. So I'm going to give that a miss. Don't tell anybody that uh, the upper level of railing on top of that railing won't be there. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, I, 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 I can't. I struggle. It's already broken once on here and I'm sure that's not going to be the last time and it's getting the more I handle it the more it's getting out of shape and uh, yeah not going to happen <laughs> you know sometimes you just yeah very rare for me to not be able to I did attempt it I tried really hard but yeah that's not going to happen all right so we're going to move on to the um the largest of the looks like the radar sections that are going to go on which aren't real clear in these instructions but we'll we'll take a look at the pieces of the sprue all right i'll be back shortly okay welcome back again so look where we're at we've got those radar units are on now there they are there that whole piece is looking pretty good eh? So now we need to put it on here, which I have already test fitted. It simply pretty much sits in there like that. So to give you a better view what that's looking like now, there we go. Just have to get that a bit straighter. I haven't glued it on. But, uh, look at that. Very nice, hey? what I'm going to do is I won't glue this on now I'm going to paint this piece separately just because I want to be able to get to all the top of here which will be underneath that so um, yeah and of course where it fits here into there is not going to be a problem if that's painted um, I'll be able to scrape some paint off that and it's still going to go in there fine and it's going to sit there. All right, so that is uh, step 52 complete. Sorry, 62. Um, step 63 is just putting it on top of that. Uh, step 64 is putting this on top of the actual superstructure, which I'm not ready to do yet because I need to paint this and uh, and paint the, the rest of the superstructure before this goes on so that will take us up to uh step 65 so let me just go and move this into a safe position uh probably back in its little container that i have here for it and then uh we'll have a look at uh, what we've got next to do okay we'll be back in a sec okay so i'll pop step 65 up in the corner where we're at as you can see, there's a, uh, a platform with some railing, photo etch, and a ladder that needs to be put together. And that will get placed down on here once that other bridge is put on. So we can't put it on until the bridge is on, and we can't put that on until it's painted, blah, blah, blah. So what I'll do is I'll put together that piece, and again, we'll put that separately in a container to be added later. Um, to all of this so what i will do now okay let me just get sorted out on the bench here and we'll be back in a sec okay so i just uh pulled out the piece here uh cut it off the sprue tidied it up some really nice checker plate detail 
on the top there. We've got a couple of doors on either side here. And I thought I'd just check and see where it's going to go. It's actually going to go right pretty much there. Like that. So that's where it's going to sit uh, on top of the superstructure against that. So it's going to completely cover those portholes that I drilled and those two doors. They'll all be out of sight under here. <laughs> so I wonder why they even bothered putting those on there when it's going to get completely covered. So anyway, so I'll just put the photo etch. Um, we'll put the railing and the ladder on that. And uh, that part will be done. We'll put that aside for later. Okay, be back when I've done that. Okay, so that's done. There's our railings went on fine. Ladders on there. Just let that dry and uh, put that somewhere safely away and uh, have a look at what's next. So that was step 65 complete. Back in a sec. Okay, welcome back everybody. So, yes, this is something different. <laughs> I thought it's about time we got this boxel painted up correctly before we start on the uh, the mast of the ship. I want to get this done. So, what we need to do is get this a zinc color, which I've pre-mixed here using Outlaw Paints uh, white with the IJN Outlaw Paints Grey. I've toned it right down, so this should look a nice whitish grey. The problem I have now is that because I didn't realise till after I put all the little bits and pieces on here that I need to paint this, um, we've got some masking to do. So fortunately, with the wooden deck, we've got this masking sheet came, and it has all the masks for this whole forecastle area here. I know they're impossible to see, but they're all on here. So what I want to mask up is everything like all those bollards, uh, the cap stains, uh, the areas underneath where the anchors go. I have masks for those. Um, some areas that I've already put pieces on, like these, um, I won't be able to put the mask on, but I will be able to use some of our icky sticky masking tape. I've got everything from 10 mil down to one mil so should not be a too problem too much of a problem just got to be very careful um i'll also have the railing i have the railings on here that are gray unfortunately i can't take them off <laughs> um which is a shame so i'll have to uh, retouch them up with a brush with the gray that's no problem the idea is i'll be airbrushing from this angle uh, to get the color on there so you know I'll, I'll just have to retouch that up and I maybe mask it although taking the mask off may take the railing off we'll see um, the inside of here the front of the bow will have to be masked up at least on the inside and the top I'll be able to do that it's all that checker plate area uh, these here will have to be done um, so yeah so basically and then of course I'll have to put mask around here just to stop any overspray getting onto our hull at all all right so if I need to I do have some liquid mask so some of the tops of these areas here I may be able to brush on with liquid mask on there uh, tops of these maybe and uh and and that'll come back off quite easily so that's the hope all right so uh yeah let me start masking this up and um we'll see how we go we'll come back as i'm working through it at different stages before we actually hit it with the airbrush okay be back shortly okay so progressing along well um fortunately i managed to take a few pieces off so the um, cap stain and a couple other bits I managed to pull off there. So there, don't have to worry about that. But the masking over that completely. I will have to mask up 
these, these, and I'm still contemplating the railing, um, at least the inside of it. Um, the outside I can probably get away with not doing. And I've got to mask these up on the front here. Oh, and these as well. So there's a few little bits. This is where the masking tape's going to come in very handy. All right, so I will progress a bit further. Back in a sec. Okay, more progress happened. I have decided to mask the railings just on that inside. That should be enough to cover that. And I've also used some of my liquid mask by Vallejo. Um, that'll dry clear. It's starting to dry on these that I put on first just to get those little areas that I couldn't really get in there with the tape. Um, this went on with a brush and it went on quite well. Um, avoiding the checker plate. Um, yeah, that, that should be no problem. So we're pretty much done there. All I need to do now is mask around the outside to stop any overspray touching the hull. And uh, I'm good to put some paint on. Okay, so I shall return shortly. All right, looks good enough to me. All right. We'll see how that looks with the masking off. We're back in a sec. Okay, so it's only been about five minutes, but that's long enough. It's like 30 degrees here today, and um, that outlaw paints uh, dries really, really quick. So um, we're pretty right to take off the masking now. So um, I'm going to do this very carefully and slowly, mainly because I don't want the railing to come off or anything else to go wrong. So um, we'll do it in a time lapse and uh, you'll be able to watch me do this. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's, let's get the masking off. Okay, so I'm super happy with that. Um, that's come up really well. The color is just the way I wanted it. Um, it looks fantastic. Just the right shade. There's a few little touch-ups to do with the where I haven't taped up properly. That was expected, so I'll do all that. There's still uh, the bits of um, uh, where I did the liquid mask. I'll just leave that for a little bit longer because I only just did that at the last minute. And then I'll take them off the top of these, bit of here and a few spots here. But otherwise, yeah, it, it's come up really, really good. So, excellent. Um, what I'll do now is I'll um, take that mask off, the liquid mask. I'll put our pieces on that I managed to take off beforehand. And uh, and we'll take a good look at it. Uh, the railing stayed on. It's still grey. Perfect.
All right, we'll be back in a second. Okay, welcome back, and it's done. Done all the took all the rest of the mask off. Um, did a few little touch ups, and um, there, I'm beyond happy. <laughs> It's really turned out absolutely fine, really good. I like the color, everything about it, beautiful. It's got that zinc look that it's supposed to. Um, it's looking fantastic. So, yeah, done. So this will go back up. Well, actually, just thinking, we could probably put the um, the whole uh, wood deck section down, couldn't we? We could glue that on. Uh, yeah, let me see if we can do that. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in a sec. Okay, welcome back. I've had to change the camera view because there's no way we're going to fit this under the other camera view and manage to be able to see the deck going on. All right, but we can put this deck on. So here it is. And that's where it goes. <laughs> the only reason I had was holding off putting this on was because I didn't want to have to mask up. Where it's at the, where that area where we just painted is. So let's pop it in, eh? Just sit that in there like that. There she is. It really sits down nicely, hey? Really nicely. Okay. So, um, what I will do is I will probably place uh, some books on top just to hold it down. Nothing on the sides needs clamping in at all because it just sits in there beautifully. Yeah, really nice. Everything lines up well. Yeah, just a few spots where we'll need to hold it down here and here. A little bit of weight on it so what i normally do is use a, a tea towel spread that across there double layered and then put my books down on that the tea towel sort of puts out you know even pressure over everything but uh, yeah it should be fine all right so i'll go ahead and do that and uh we'll come back and have a look at it all glued on okay back in back shortly <laughs> Okay, so the deck is on. I've got my uh, usual Stephen King um, book weights on the top. And uh, I'm just going to leave it overnight. I know it probably doesn't need to be left that long, but it doesn't matter. So what I did was I went all the way around with the Ravel contactor. Um, there's quite a nice big area all the way around that you can just run this glue without it going everywhere um, they even have a little ledge on there just to touch in that um, and it went on really fine afterwards tomorrow when i lift these off i'll probably go along with some um, uh, instant cement and just run a strip of it all the way and let that run down in there and just seal it even more uh, but that may not be even needed. We'll see how that. We'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah, it's looking looking really nice. And um, yeah, when we come back, we'll have a look at it tomorrow morning when it's uh, finished with the Stephen King books. <laughs> okay, I'll I shall return tomorrow. In your case, in a second. Cheers. Hey, welcome back again. So uh, it's the next morning, quite early actually, it's about 5.30 in the morning, and uh, I've taken the book paper weights, weights off the deck, and uh, it's looking beautiful, no problems. There was one little point here, I think it was. Oh, there was a point I touched where it just popped down a little bit. So what I will do now is I'll just go along with some extra thin, and just slowly run it all around the edges just to weld in that plastic and give it that extra bit of strength all the way around. All right, so I will do this and then uh, I'll be able to move it back over onto the uh, uh, the, the uh, dry dock, as I call it, near, 
out of the way and uh, we can get back to the instructions and uh, and that will be the deck on the hull part done. All right, we'll be back in a sec. Oh, one more thing I forgot to do is while we've got this down here, um, there was a few parts that um, I couldn't put on until the deck was on the hull. And so I've gone back into my little collection of boxes here and we've got this piece here, which we made up that sits, if I can slide this down again, we'll have a look. Get that down. Okay, it sits on here. So I couldn't put that on because I was waiting to paint this and put this on because it sort of goes between the two. So that's that one there. We'll have a quick look. Check that out. All right, so this was step in step 38. All right, and uh, going by that, it looks like it goes that way. And it's going to sit there pretty much like that. So we'll be able to glue that on. Um, there's also a couple of little uh, bits and pieces to go along the edges here that we couldn't put on these parts. Oh, again, I have to slide it down. It's just so big. Uh, yeah. yeah, so these here, we've got a few more to go down, which are parts L14 I've got written down. It looks like there's four of them, so there'll be four locations uh, for those. I apologise for forgetting the name of them. Obviously, they're what the ropes go around when they're mo when the ship's moored. Um, yeah, these. And someone will remind me in chat, I'm sure. Maybe Hibbo. <laughs> Fairlays, something like that. Anyway, all right. Uh, so yeah, so those will go on. And we also have the platforms for the guns that are can counter levered off the deck here. Okay, they they could also go on too. But um, let me get these on first, and we'll see we'll see how that goes. All right, we're back in a sec. Okay, welcome back. So <laughs> excuse me, I've decided to um, while it's down here on the. On the workbench, I may as well try and get what I can done. So these cantilevered platforms for the guns, which sit here, we've got one, I think we've got five, yeah, five going along here. I'm going to attach them on both sides. Um, yeah, and get that part done. Uh, I might as well. It's a little bit more difficult now that I can't get in there to hold this by the braces to move it around. So um, the less I'm going to move it, the better. So I'll attach these. So these are back on step 33 that we left off. And um, now I'm going to attach them all on there. And uh, yeah, that should look really fine. Really, really good. Now, the other thing was up the front, there's still the anchor chain uh, to run along that foc'sle on front there. But uh, that can be done much later with no rush for that. So I've narrowed all my spare parts down to one little tray of these now and um, completed the step 38 and uh, and other bits so well good so I'll put all these on um, all I got to do is just uh, widen the holes a little bit where that comes through the deck I'll just use an old airbrush needle to pretty much just push them through the other way wiggle it and then uh, they they should fit in that they go straight on like that, no problem. Okay, I shall return. Okay, welcome back. So there they are, all the gun placements that cantilever over the edge of the deck are all glued on. And uh, yeah, looking really good now. So um, what I'm going to do now is uh, move this over out of the way and uh, we'll get back to our instructions. That completes... Um, step 33 so I'll cross that off and um, yep we'll see what we're up to next and um, yeah well I'll, I'll probably get a, I'll grab a photo too and uh, I'll put it up in the corner of the whole top down view of this deck here let me just get this out of the way and I'll get the photo I'm back in a sec okay so back on the bench I'll throw that photo up there 
there it is looking uh looking a bit more like a ship with that deck on there um that foc'sle looks really nice in that zinc color i come up with i'm really happy with it so fantastic so let's move on um, we're on to step 66. I'll put that up in the corner here. We're working on the antenna, which is a really awkward looking thing to work on, but let's see how we go. Um, let me just check. All right, so there's a couple of plastic parts I need to get off and a few bits of photo etch. All right, so I'll get them out on here and we'll start back shortly. Okay, so we're back. We're starting on step 66. Um, just a tip for myself. You can't see these because they're on that background. So let's put them on here. So these are parts um, H10 and H13. Now they come on a sprue like this. You'll find is wrapped in bubble, bubble wrap for a very good reason. There's a lot of very tiny... Um, Thin pieces on here okay so be very careful um, what I find is myself is when you're taking a piece off make sure number one you've got a really good pair of nippers okay and they're sharp and don't cut slowly this is what I find if you cut through the the plastic slowly it's twisting it's putting pressure on whereas you just snip it through quickly you'll find that it comes off much better and there's less chance of um, a piece um, breaking. Now, even with this piece here, uh, you'll find there's lots of little pieces that need to be cleaned up and taken off. Make sure that they are the, the right bits you're taking off. They're not taking, you're not snipping off a, a piece that you shouldn't be. And uh, there are little little bits like this where there's lights and things on here that yeah you don't want to accidentally snip off all right and this is with the other leg i guess you'd call it of the tripod it's going to go on to there it looks like it's going to fit really nice even these two little support beams have notches in there where that's going to sit so that's good and then after that um further down we've got to take off um a piece from P4, which you'll find is another bubble wrapped piece in your box of sprues. And again, very, very delicate. Be very careful. And there it is there. I'm guessing, yeah, that's it there. So, again, very thin. And, uh, yeah, be very, very careful. Can't say that enough, can I? <laughs> All right, so um, I'll clean these up. Probably take that one off as well and get it cleaned up. Look how, look how thin that is there. Be very careful. Take your time. And then uh, we've got some photo etch. Yeah, there's uh, some photo etch to go on. Yep. All right. Shall return very shortly. Okay, welcome back again. So there's the mast all cleaned up with the extra leg glued on um, no problems now this is one of the photo edge pieces which is finished be very 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 careful there's some very tiny parts on there that are going to break very easily and it starts from just getting it off the sprue make sure you have a very sharp new blade so it's going to cut without putting any pressure on then once you get the piece off um, the instructions aren't really clear on bending, but you basically got to bend up into a triangle shape with two tabs on the end. So you've got to bend them up, but while you're bending them up, you need to bend these arms out a little bit just to give you the clearance so that when they join, they're sticking out and you can further bend them out so that they're all the way, if you know what I mean like that. Okay. it's very hard to see but yeah now what i also did was once i bent them all outwards as they should be put a touch of ca glue in there on each join just to strengthen it so that uh, there's less chance of them 
one of them getting knocked off or all of them for that matter okay so <coughs> excuse me we've got one done i'm just going to finish this one off now and um, we'll have a look at the next bit okay back shortly okay back again i'm just going to show you where i'm at so i've got those on there hard to see put that there there you go it's an unusual looking mask, isn't it? It sort of looks upside down, but it's not. So it's going to go like that. Now, there's still a few more things to go on here. We're still on that same step 66. Um, I had a quick sneak look at the next step. And I, yeah, pretty scary. <laughs> I think I see about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight ladders that need to be put on this photo etch ladders. Oh boy, that's going to be fun. Anyway, all right, so I'm just taking a couple of um, lights, and little spotlights, I'm guessing they'd be, that go in on a little platform that's in there. I'll do that, and then we can, oh no, not quite go over the next step. There's still a bit more PE to go on. Okay, I shall continue and be back shortly. Okay, so got all those on. You can see all the photo etch in there. Um, not too difficult. Um, but one tip is use some CA activator. It helps um, lock it in place so you can get the next piece on. So that's all done. That's obviously going to stand up like that. As I said before, it's an unusual shape, but that's the way it is. And now we'll move on to step 67 which is those scary ladders. So I guess, uh, yeah, interesting. There's a real long one there too, isn't there? Okay, let me get some um, photo etch that we need. Uh, we need F sprue, C sprue, A sprue. Yeah, a mixture as usual. All right, let's get on to these. We'll be back in a sec. Okay, welcome back, and here it is, all complete. See the glinting of the ladders running up and down. It wasn't as scary as I thought. They all seemed to go on quite well. I didn't need to use any instant set. It was fine as it was, so there it is. All done, the mast. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put that away somewhere safe because that will go somewhere else later. Yeah, so this will go safely in a container like that. All right, I'll put that in with the rest. Because as you can see, we quickly look at step 68. It's just a matter of putting that down on the superstructure. But we want to get this, uh, definitely want to paint this separately and attach that at the very end. All right, so with that done, let's have a look over the page. And 69... Is that the one we're on to? Yep. Okay, step 69. Looks like we're starting on the funnel. All right, exciting times. But that will have to be in the next video. This one's gone long enough. So in part 14, it looks like we'll be doing the funnel, or at least the start of it. The funnel has a lot of photo etch and uh, bits and pieces. So we'll have to work work out all about that. So, yeah, so thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Please uh, comment below. Your comments are welcome. Any Anything you want to comment about, if you have any questions or suggestions or just uh, something to inspire me to keep going, <laughs> just throw it down there in the comments. Um, give us a thumbs up. That helps the algorithm get this out more. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe. Hit the little bell that says all so you get all the notifications you won't miss anything as these come out and also don't forget every friday morning uh 6 a.m australia time uh whatever that may be where you are um i do a live chat i do a live stream and uh, anybody's welcome to come and join me you'll probably get a notification of that come up uh, if not just keep an eye out for it but that's on friday and we can uh, you can have a look in a bit advanced of where I am and uh, where I'm at on the build and ask any questions and I might be able to show you a few things in real time. 
and we also just chat about everything else so you're welcome to do that all right and uh that's it i'll see you all in part 14 okay bye for now cheers